Hey guys, it's your girl Celia, and I decided to do this video, a screenshot of what PCOS, that's polypropylene syndrome, looks like on a ultrasound. So, here you'll see all these are sick, and these are on the ovaries. Now, each month, your, you produce on um, your ovaries, or ovaries produce follicles, um, about five or so. And then the dominant follicle, that is the larger follicle, will take over, release the egg, and so the other remaining follicles will just um, be absorbed back in the body, and uh, then this process will take the next month the same way. However, with PCOS, this does not happen. The other follicles, as a matter of fact, there are no dominating follicles. All the follicles will be at the same level. And no follicle takes over, no egg is released, so it just remains there. The next month, what happens is some more come and some more come and some more come. So that's what happens with PCOS. Now, if this is left unattended or untreated or whatever, you will find that the ovary, as you can see, this one has a lot of fish in it. So you will find that this happens. Now, there are times now with, um, okay, to explain more about follicles, what will happen is when the follicle has released the egg, then it shrinks and disappears and produces the hormone progesterone. Progesterone is responsible for maintaining the pregnancy. So, if you become pregnant, if the egg is fertilized, it maintains the pregnancy, it ensures that the Make sure that the lining of the womb remains deep and fresh so the embryo can implant in it and stay safe until the placenta takes over and does the work that you know the progesterone would do. Now, in case for the PCOS, that does not happen, so there are no dominating follicles, there are no release of any egg. Uh, if you do get lucky and an egg is released, if the follicle is not absorbed, shrinks and absorbed and turns into progesterone hormone, then automatically the egg does not need 